And let's talk about cruising with the Mustang Man, the Mustang Man. Joseph Scott in here to let us know about everything brought to you by Eddie Pruitt, Ford, Hartzell, Brad Stovall, Audio, and Body Class, and Tanner. And by Jan Scott, who we once bought a lake house from. Yes, we did. Sure did. Great so. experience. All right, Joseph, we'll get that sound effect in there here before long. Okay, Don't worry about yeah. it. We'll get Red everything going. Bars. So, yeah. It was on there. It was on there. I just didn't hear it. I guess right. my earpiece kind of fell out. We'll make it a lot louder next time. What are you driving today? I'm in the black Mustang today. Black Mustang. I might start revving favorite? it up when I come in every day. <laughs> yeah, just spin it around out there and do a fishtail out there in the parking lot. I reckon I'd get in trouble if I did a. 360 out there. Yeah, they'd never see it. Yeah. As long as you don't hit the Hummer, I might tear your well, Mustang up. Yeah. You say this is a big weekend. Why? Is this because well, we're headed into Memorial Day or what? Just, uh, well, no, the, you know, there's just so many. I, I looked at the list and it's like they're in uh, County Park in Scottsboro. Uh, Hartzell's got a car show this weekend. Uh, this weekend is the third Friday cruise in uh, indicator. Mm. Uh, that's a big one. Uh, Huntsville, uh, Huntsville Depot there in Huntsville's got one. Pine View Baptist Church uh, in Harvest has got one this weekend. So Now, the Hartzell thing you were talking about, is, is there a barbecue cook-off or something involved in that too? Because we got a call last night, somebody inviting us up to really? uh, right, a barbecue. Is that a, do you know anything else about I that? Or is it just that or a car show? I, I didn't see that, but a lot of times they have a cook-off. They can throw them in together. Mm -hmm. uh, there's also one at... Um, well, the cruise in is uh, Dreamland Barbecue is Saturday. I think that one's from three to six. Uh, there it is. That's a good one. Uh, and then there's also one at Sportsman's Park in Coleman. So I you got it covered wow. everywhere. All of North Alabama this weekend. You really do. Uh, and then you mentioned uh, the Balloon Festival. The the car show over there in Point Mallard is Memorial Day weekend. Yeah, that's so a it'll huge, be that yeah. Saturday. Um, but speaking of cars. Um, found an interesting article this weekend or this week as I was doing some research. Did you know that the University of Michigan is doing a study, 6.4 million, to build a 32-acre compound, I guess if you would, to test driverless cars? Why? Nobody in them. Uh, autonomous, I guess is the word they use for that. Um, there's four states. So that's what it's going to come to. Yeah, California, Nevada, Florida, and Michigan are testing these cars. They'll have like radio waves in them. So when the car pulls up to an intersection, those radio waves will be checking the other cars, the lights, pedestrians walking. And I'm thinking, okay, I don't, really? is this safe? I mean, <laughs> I just don't know if I want to be a passenger. I mean, surely they're going to test it with taxis and buses and things first. But I thought that was kind of kind of scary. I mean, I like to be in control of the car as when I'm driving a, it. You can override it on the passenger side. I wonder you say you like to be in control, so you would go back to one of the articles we had in the first day. You would say Carissa is a bad passenger. Uh, <laughs> or you're a bad passenger when she's driving. I'm a bad passenger when she's driving, yeah. Can't believe you talk so, about your wife like that. I, I need to stop talking way. about her. She's going to stop fixing sweets. But I uh, am the same way because you scare the living <laughs> crap out of me. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, come on. Uh, well, okay, me, I can understand there's warranted. But, uh, yeah, I, I just don't know about that. But, hey, $6.4 million, and, and the big automakers, Ford, uh, Chrysler, uh, Chevy are involved in it. Uh, they're they're getting on board. I mean, maybe we need to do a study about that. I did a study. I've done. Four million though. <laughs> well, it's big money. What's the most you would pay for a vehicle? The most I would pay for a vehicle. Now you're going to get in trouble. <clears throat> on my current salary, probably about thirty thousand. <laughs> well, I'm just talking about if you had Can a I lot of money. Uh, if I had a lot of money, about one hundred fifty thousand. There is a. Have you heard about the new Rolls Royce, the convertible? Uh, with that big, what was it, like a V12 engine in it or something? Oh, I ain't worried about the engine. I just know how much it costs. I don't know what the payment on this would be, but it's $750,000 for the I car. Did, They're I only making, what, five? Yes. Huh? Beautiful. Look at that. They're making uh, 750000 so that's 450 pounds. So. Yeah, that's what it converts wow. to that. But uh, there it is. They're only making like five or six of them. One of them been delivered to Athens. Uh, is that right? I no. think about buying one. Seriously, it is? No, he's making that. He's going to have ZTV on the side of it. <laughs> After he's Zach's tasered, we may get him one. Uh, but look, in a how, how could you pay $750,000 for a car? Look at that motor. Wow. Wouldn't you be afraid somebody would scratch it? I wouldn't want yes. to drive it around. Mm. Now, who's driving that so thing So you around? buy it just to park it? <clears throat> Well, uh, well, I got a BMW convertible. We don't drive either, so I don't know why I need one like that. Yeah, more money than cents, I guess. 
You know, those guys with big money that have these garages, like Jay Leno, right. you know, he's got like 200 cars in his garage. Those are like Hot Wheels for a little kid <laughs> or die cast cars. He can cars. afford them. Well, yeah. I know, but he's I'm just He's a saying. television superstar like I am. But he rubs on them every now and then, takes them out for a spin, and then puts them back in the garage like I would my die cast cars, you know? <laughs> so, that's amazing. So you're saying you need just a bigger a garage? Hobby. I do need a bigger garage. I may need to call Jan Scott and see yeah, if she can find me one with a three-car garage. What else is going on in the world uh, of cruising? Just, uh, well, there was one other story I had. Uh, you know, we've talked about the Paul Walker, right. Walker story and that crash for, for a little She's while. She's a wife and widow sue it, right? The, the, well, the other, the other right. driver. Because he wasn't uh, married. Paul, I mean, uh, Roger Rodas uh, was married, and he, uh, his wife is trying to, you know, claimed that he wasn't speeding, that it was a default of the car. And I'm thinking, gracious, the, the report showed that he was He's doing three times running, the speed limit. Yeah, yeah at least a short amount of time. Uh, and tough. the tires were def defective, but... Always someone else's fault. Yeah. Do you hear what happened in the Hyundai thing yesterday? Mm -hmm. uh, two cousins, 17, 18 year old, were killed a couple of years ago in a defect with Hyundai, and the jury awarded them eight and a half million dollars. Wow. But Lawyer, yeah, the jury came back and awarded the families two hundred and something million dollars. Wow! And because of the, they knew about the defect or something, yeah. and now the Hyundai's saying, "Hey, million. wait a minute, this is outrageous. We're going to appeal this." Everybody's suing. You but know. if they know there's a faulty with their car and they that's don't true. fix it, that's just. All right. Anything that's else, true. Joseph? No. Uh, what stay can tuned. we expect to eat next Thursday from <laughs> Goodies to Go? Uh, how yeah, about some chocolate? Does everybody like oh. chocolate? Oh yeah. Well, yeah. We'll get dusty up here for that. Okay. Good. I yeah. don't like. I don't care for chocolate, so that's yeah, good. I do. Yeah. We'll eat plenty of it. <laughs> All right. The cruise in and the Mustang man, the Mustang yeah, man. How can people that. get in touch with you, Joseph? Uh, hopefully, my email's up there. Joe's Mustangs at gmail.com. Joe's Mustangs at gmail.com. Y'all got something happening? with an automobile, let Joseph know. We'll get it on there each and every Thursday in the Cruise In segment. Mm -hmm. Don't forget the rodeo comes up this weekend. Sheriff will be with us tomorrow, too. Right. When we take a break and come back from that, we'll be going to downtown where you had the pleasure of watching Frank cut a rug. <laughs> Actually, we don't have that on video, but uh, he was asleep. But he, did do it. he was asleep back there on the bale of hay in the back. <laughs> but we'll have that coming up next. Y'all hang on. Good morning. And let me get ready to get knocked this out on a Thursday morning. Cooper and Company Live. Call Allied today. You've got mold, cracked bricks, or whatever around your house. You need to call my buddy Alan Johnson out of Decatur. 221 4608. They are the cornerstone to your safer, healthier home. Call them and tell them, Alan, I told you to give him a call on his wife, April. She'll probably be the one you talk to down that way. All right, as I told you the other night, we had a big night. We were down at Cane Break uh, to, over there for their wild game cook-off, and then we went downtown for Sheriff Blakely's annual deal with Jeff Whitlow and the old barn band. Super crowd down there, beautiful evening. We shot a lot of video. You can see more. We do that one-hour special on the rodeo coming up. Uh, we'll be taking a few days off after Memorial Day, and you'll see the rodeo run in place of the morning show a few days like that. And a lot of y'all will see tomorrow night down at the rodeo and Brad down there videotaping that whole thing. But we were down there, saw everybody cutting the rug. They put on quite a show. Here's that video, and we'll see y'all tomorrow. is all
don't look mighty fine out there. On the bed. All freak trade in town. Not knowing where I'm at. No one can steer me right. I'm on the track. One and only river child. From a family big and mild. Mama seemed to know what lay in store. Smiling on my son and learning. Told you about it. 